All right, now here is the other wacky thing that is true about our universe that Einstein uh, uh, recognized and used it to build his special theory of relativity. And that is that the speed of light, this number on the board, is for a photon the same no matter how you're moving. In, in the language of physics, you would say it's the same in all inertial reference frames. Uh, inertial reference frame just means that if I'm moving relative to somebody else, I'm moving at a constant velocity. So normally in relativity, you're talking about different measurements in different reference frames. What that means is, if I'm standing on the ground, um, you know, I'm at rest relative to the ground. I'm not really at rest because the Earth is moving and the entire solar system is moving around the galaxy, right? And the galaxy's moving. I, but I don't feel any of that, so I just say I'm at rest with respect to the ground. But someone flying in an airplane relative to me is in motion relative to me. And if we both observe different things in the environment, like if somebody throws a rock, I, at rest, am going to measure that rock moving at some velocity. Somebody in an airplane will also be able to see the rock, and they'll be able to measure the velocity of that rock uh, from the vantage point of the airplane. But we're going to get different numbers because they're moving relative to me, so of course it's going to look like it's moving different than it would to me on the ground. So our measurements, we, we know, are going to be relative to our reference frame. But what's weird about Einstein's theory of relativity is that the speed of light is the one thing, photons moving is the one thing that is absolutely the same in all reference frames. All reference frames. If I'm moving with zero velocity, so I'm at stationary, and I measure the speed of light, I'm going to measure it to be 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.